One of the best things that you can realize in your own life is that you are indeed your own CEO, regardless of what your actual job or role or title is right now. You are your own CEO. You can hire and fire accordingly. You can delegate activities and tasks that you don't like doing. But the truth is, is that most people fail to figure out how to properly delegate, which is why most people fail to be a great CEO of their own life. If you are a real CEO in business and you have different departments, divisions, and a business and a company and people and things to manage, you have to become exceptionally good at making decisions and figuring out what to delegate and what you need to be spending your time on. Regardless of where you're at in life right now, I wanna give you a simple formula or at least a series of questions that you can ask yourself to come to the right conclusion on what you might wanna delegate. Because time is the most valuable thing that you actually have. And there's only so many things that you can accomplish in one day. The truth is, is that there's probably plenty of things in your own life right now that you shouldn't actually be spending your time on. And ultimately, you could spend a little bit of money getting some of those things off your plate, but also giving yourself now more time to handle some of the things that you should be spending your time on. So how do you know what you should be delegating, what you should be spending your own time on, and what your time is actually worth? One thing that you're gonna wanna figure out is one, should you spend your time making more money? Or should you spend more time relaxing, hanging out with family and enjoying yourself? There's an easy way that you can use some numbers, some math and a calculator to figure out what you should delegate and where you should actually be spending your time. So let's dig in. Let's say that last year you looked at your W-2, your 1099 or however you make your money and you realized that you made $82,000. What you need to do is divide that number by 365 and then by 24. And you'll realize that instead of making $82,000 in a year, you were actually earning $9.36 every single hour. Whether you were working, sleeping, partying, hanging out, whatever it is, you were earning $9.36 every single hour. Let's say that every single week you spend two hours doing your laundry. You put your clothes in the washer, the dryer, you take them out, you hang them out, you put them in the closet, and boom, you're done. Two hours a week or 106 hours every single year doing your own laundry. That would mean that you're actually spending $973.44 of your own time doing laundry. Now, you might actually enjoy doing laundry. This might be relaxing activity for you. However, for me, I don't wanna do laundry. So how do you know whether or not you should continue doing your own laundry or delegate, outsource, or hire somebody else to do it for you? One of the main reasons why so many people don't end up delegating tasks that they don't wanna do, like laundry, is because they think it's gonna cost a bunch of money. But the truth is, is that it's already costing you a bunch of money. $973.44 in this example, if you're making $82,000 a year. Let's say that you decide to shop around for somebody that could do the laundry for you. Let's say that your cleaning lady tells you that she'd be happy to spend the two hours a week doing your laundry for $15 an hour. That would mean that instead of actually using your own time, you can pay $1,560 per year to buy back 106 of your own hours and get your laundry done by a professional. This means that now you've got 106 extra hours of time that you could either use making more money or enjoying your life and spending more time with your family without stressing out about the dirty clothes piling up in the hamper. One of the main reasons why most people don't outsource that laundry and continue doing things that one, don't pay them, and two, they don't enjoy doing, is because they're scared to spend the $1,560 per year on the cleaning lady to do the laundry. But let me make an adjustment and shift your perspective. What you're doing is you are spending $1,560 a year on the cleaning lady to do your laundry. However, you are now banking $973.44 of your own time. So the actual real net cost of getting your laundry handled right now is actually only $586 and 56 cents. So the question is, is if you had an extra 106 hours of your own time back, could you either one, justify spending that $586 on getting somebody else to do your laundry so that you could enjoy your life, spend more time with your family, be more present in the activities that you wanna be in, or could you spend 106 extra hours in that year earning more than $586. The truth is, is that you should easily be able to make more than $586 with the 106 extra hours that you just bought yourself. 
But if you can't, then you should know that you shouldn't delegate that task to the home cleaner because obviously you're not really maximizing that time. You're not gonna get an ROI on the 106 hours that you just bought yourself. So that's an easy equation or formula that you can use pretty much any time to figure out whether or not what you're doing and spending your time on right now is actually worth spending your time on. One of the most powerful things that you can do, again, is figure out what you shouldn't be doing and then figuring out a way to not do it. So outsource, hire and delegate as much of the low level activities in your life as you possibly can so that you can buy yourself as much time back to either one, get an ROI on that investment and bring more money home to your family or figure out how to spend more time with your family, not stressing out about the low level things that you shouldn't be doing anyway. I guess the real conclusion that we all came here today is if you do make $82,000 a year and you do spend more than two hours a week doing your own laundry, you should probably hire a cleaner. Just saying. Hey, if you enjoyed this video and it brought you some value, I would love to bring you some more value. All you have to do is hit that link over there and subscribe, comment below, share this, or even better yet, is join Stupar Sales Academy so I can give you some skill sets, perspectives, strategies, and approaches to help you get more out of life. Because everything that I teach isn't just to make more money in sales, it helps transcend what you're doing in your profession so that you can get your way out of more opportunities throughout your entire life. I'll see you inside. Click the link in the description and join Stupar Sales Academy. My name is Jordan Stupar. Thanks for watching this video.